What's good everybody? It's Shin and today I'm coming to you from the strip here in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, it's no surprise that a lot of people's favorite food is pizza. It's easy, it's portable, it's delicious, and it's cheap. And here in Vegas, we've got a plethora of locations where you can find yourself a great slice. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you up and down the strip to showcase a couple of spots where you can get your pizza fix. Now before we get started, if you're brand new to the channel, I create content here in Las Vegas focused on food, buffet tours, and more. So if you're interested in Sin City, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, let's go to pizza spot number one. The first spot we're checking out today is at the Treasure Island at the north end of the Las Vegas Strip. Coming down from the escalators from the self-parking lot, you'll find Pizzeria Francesco's, a quaint pizzeria serving up pizza by the slice or the whole pie, along with calzones, wings, sandwiches, and other Italian favorites. A slice of cheese pizza is very reasonably priced at $5.95, where a pepperoni slice will run you $6.95. Now pepperoni can carry a subpar pizza, so I'll only be trying cheese slices today. Overall, a nice, big, healthy slice of cheese pizza here. Now I'll say the crust integrity is a little floppy. The cheese looks nice. All right, here we go. Now the cheese is really salty, which I like, but the sauce is a little lost. I don't really taste too much tomato, not a lot of the other seasoning. The cheese really takes over on this pizza. The crust isn't bad. I wish it was a little crispier to hold a little more of the integrity of its shape, but overall, this is a pretty good slice. Okay, not a bad start to our little pizza quest. Let's go check out the next location. Now, next up, we're going to the MGM Grand where you can find Bananos New York Pizzeria. Now, you may recognize Bananos as their pizza shops are in many of the food courts on the Las Vegas Strip, but their largest standalone location is inside of the MGM. Now, Bananos offers a huge variety of slices, from your standard cheese to Hawaiian, from pepperoni to white spinach pizza. Bananos offers pizza by the slice for $7.98 regardless of what type of slice you choose, so you can get your topping fix without going overboard on the price. All right guys, so I just got my cheese slice here at Bananos, and this is actually looking pretty good. Nice, big, healthy cheese slice here. Not a lot of crust integrity though. And they did reheat it, so I was expecting it to be a little crispier, but let's give it a taste. Now this tastes pretty generic overall. I think the crust leaves a little bit more to be desired. It could definitely be a little crispier. <clears throat> the cheese flavor is not bad, but it, overall it's a bit greasy. Well, I would say this is your most basic average slice of pizza here. Okay, let me show you the next spot. Okay, next up, we are going to the heart of the strip right outside of the Miracle Mile Shop's entrance at Planet Hollywood, where you can find Pin Up Pizza. Pin Up Pizza is well known for their gargantuan sized slices with a decent variety of toppings on their ready to go pizza slices. Even from initial viewing, you can see how massive these slices are. All of their slices are a bit pricier than other pizza locations you can find on the strip, clocking in at $8.99 per slice. But once you grab a hold of one of these slices in your own hands, I think you'll see why the price is justified. All right, guys, we just got that cheese slice from Pinna Pizza. Look at the size of this thing. This thing is enormous. Now, with a slice this big, you're never going to be able to have that crust integrity. But it feels crispy from underneath. The cheese looks pretty good. I like the burn bubblies. Let's give this thing a taste. Yeah, that's pretty good. The crust is super crispy. You can actually taste a nice amount of that sauce. That's what I really like the most about this pizza. The sauce has a nice, robust tomato flavor. Good spices, you can taste the oregano. The cheese isn't overly powering either. It's nice and salty, but not so much so that you can't taste anything else. I definitely think for the price, this is a great value for pizza here on the strip. All right, that was a really good slice. Let's go check out the next spot. Okay, next stop on our pizza tour is at the Aria, the beautiful crystal glass towers that stand majestically in the Las Vegas skyline. Now inside, you'll find the Money Line Pizza Bar, which acts as both a full service restaurant as well as a spot you can grab a slice on the go. The variety available for slices on the run are a bit limited, and prices clock in at $6.75 for a slice of cheese and $7.50 for a slice of pepperoni. But it's not always about quantity, let's check out the quality. All right guys, so I just got my cheese slice here at the Money Line, and you know, it's a pretty nice size. Overall has a little flop at the end, 
Not great crust integrity, but it's probably still pretty good. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so the cheese is actually pretty good. I would say the crust is a little flavorless, but the texture is actually quite nice. I would overall say that the sauce is the most robust part of this pizza. I don't really hate it, but it is a little sweet for my taste. But overall, this is pretty good pizza. Okay, I've still got a couple more places I wanna show you guys. Let's go to the next spot. Okay, so with all of these New York style slices, it would be daft of me not to showcase the pizza joint at New York, New York toward the southern end of the Las Vegas Strip. Now inside of the casino, you'll find a replica location of a New York neighborhood, and there you'll see Sirico's Pizza Shop. Sirico's offers pizza by the slice as well as whole pies in addition to pastas and calzones. A slice of cheese will run you $6.50 here, with a slice of pepperoni running $7.50. They also have a solid deal for $9.99 for any slice in a beer. Though today, I'm just here for pizza. Okay guys, so I just got my cheese slice here from Syracos. Now I will say, one of the interesting things about Syracos is that they don't reheat the pizza. Now usually in a lot of these pizzerias that serve slices, you'll see them reheat the pizza in the oven, get that super crispy crust, but they don't do that here at Syracos, which is kind of interesting. All right, now that said, the slice actually does look pretty good. Nice bubbles in the crust showing that the yeast had time to activate and give that nice fluffy texture. Let's see if this pizza's good. Yeah, that's nice. Now the crust is definitely chewier than I'm typically used to in a slice of pizza like this, but the flavor is actually pretty well developed in the crust. That's what I like about this the most. The cheese is pretty decent quality. Sauce kind of seems like an afterthought. I don't really taste too much of the robustness here, but overall, this is a pretty decent slice as well. Okay, that was pretty good. Let's head over to the next spot. And the last spot I'd like to show you today is a slice of Vegas located in the shops at Mandalay Bay. The shops is a retail corridor that connects the Mandalay Bay to the Luxor, and a slice of Vegas is located toward the Luxor end. A Slice of Vegas operates as both a full-service restaurant as well as offering slices on the go. And though there isn't a lot of variety, the prices are very reasonable. A slice of cheese will run you $5.95, and a pepperoni slice is going to cost you $6.45. Again, it's not always about quantity, but quality, so let's give this pizza a try. All right, guys, so I just got my cheese slice here at Slice of Vegas, and this is looking pretty good. Take a look at this slice. Nice and hot, nice and big as well. Overall, it's looking pretty good. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, that's pretty tasty. Now, my man's was telling me up front when he was giving me this slice that it had just come out of the oven. It's very apparent. It's super hot, nice and bubbly. The sauce isn't dried out at all. I'll say this crust actually has a lot of integrity as well. Look at this, it's holding up. Yeah, overall, I'd say this is a pretty solid slice of pizza. Okay, and that does it. I hope you enjoyed that tour of some of the spots here in Las Vegas where you can get a great slice of pizza. Now, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and comment below. What are some other pizza spots you guys enjoy here in Las Vegas? Now, if you're looking for more food videos and content here in Las Vegas, please consider subscribing to the channel. I've got so much more of that coming your way. And that's all for this video. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoy Vegas with me. Shin, bye.